Thank you for joining us today. We have a treat. Vampire Diaries, star Paul Wesley and Orange is the New Black, actress Jackie Cruz sit down to talk with Kelly Markman McNeely about their new film History of Evil ahead of its February 23rd premiere on Shudder. First, thank y'all for, for joining me. Um, I watched the movie last night and I enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh, good. It's it's very dark. Um, <laughs> it's not a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's not. No. Um, there are a lot of layers of evil, both real and paranormal. Um, can you kind of talk about that relationship? Real and paranormal. Um, yeah, well, yeah, sure. I think a lot of the paranormal stuff that um, my character is experiencing is subconscious. Um, it's in his, It's sort of his subconscious playing tricks on him. Um, and he's seeing hallucinations. No doubt the house is haunted and it has these spirits and he himself is weak and therefore, um, he's vulnerable to having those spirits infiltrate his mind. Um, that's how I viewed it. And it, it also brought up a lot about masculinity and being a man whose yeah. partner is in power. Right. I think, um, it's a form of, um, I kind of hate using this word because it's so overused, but anyway, I'll do it. It's a form of toxic masculinity um, in the sense that it's not, you know, um, it's not the, it's not the masculinity that, that, that is the healthy, strong one, which is someone who's comfortable with himself and can allow uh, uh, a female to be in a power of position, uh, a powerful position. Uh, I think the sort of mass toxic masculinity is being unable to accept that and feeling this, oh, I need to be, you know, X, X, and X. And I think that uh, Ron uh, was clearly someone who uh, was, was not uh, fully, um, I guess, uh, evolved in that, in that sense. Okay. All right. And, and Jackie, when it came to balancing aspects of real history versus the history that's currently going on in the film. How did how did you balance that? Um, it it was very close to home. I was talking about it earlier. Uh, it it just you know um, I also I grew up in the Dominican Republic where, you know, the masculinity like is is really big over there in the Dominican Republic. Like my the grandpas, you know, whatever they they. They take care of everything. The, the the women don't talk. Like I do remember my grandmother not speaking a lot because my my grandfather would always talk over her and she was always quiet. So I I do remember the man always having the power and um and then growing up with with my mother who's very vocal. Um I I learned that you have to speak up if you want to be treated right or if you you know wanted to um express yourself or there's something going wrong you have to talk about it so I felt um it was it was it was very close very close to like you know I I, I mentioned earlier as well in the interview that I work a lot with Carmen Perez in the Justice League and she like runs the Justice League so it, it was beautiful to to work with someone like that who is a mother as well and is trying to balance work and family um and uh in a world that we live in right now so um this obviously isn't the world we live in, but it could be a future that could be very scary. So, um, uh, it, it, it was, it was hard to balance, I believe family and, and work, um, at home and in the film. But, uh, I, I think that, um, it, it's a beautiful message. What, you know, Allegra is trying to say and to do and to resist and in, in a world where, there there are no voices so um i i really did believe uh it, it's a powerful film i hope this doesn't come true but i, I got really lucky to to play a, a powerful character and i'm not gonna lie to you paul has a strong strong personality so trying to be more powerful than him was was really hard but i hope i did it justice <laughs> And, you know, I didn't know. And, I didn't know it was that strong. <laughs> no, Paul, you are you're a strong man, you know. So, um, <laughs> you know, it was uh, intense for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, 
like with the character and, and also trying to be big, you know, uh, uh, against someone that is already big. So uh, to me, uh, that to me was a, a, a bit hard for me, but I'm, I'm happy that it wasn't about being loud or anything. It was just about, you know, what you said and, and, you know, your words that were really important. So, yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I answered your question. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> But uh, it was a good. But it was. I love. I love the film. I love the film. <laughs> it was intense, but it was. It was great working with Paul. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. You know, it was independent, and uh, I learned from the director, from working with a child, from working with Paul, and it was just a beautiful a dog. experience. With the dog, <laughs> yeah, the dog. What was the dog's name? Forgot. His name in the movie is Benny, but I don't remember his name in in. I'm in like, the... it wasn't. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. It was, like, it was the set dog. It was the one of the loca- uh, transpo guys or something like that. Yeah, because it was a, our it was a, real actor dog wasn't working out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, it was like, uh, yeah, our real dog was like misbehaving one that we had hired. So there was a dog that was on set all the time. It was one of, I think it was the, the transpo captain's dog. And we were just like, well, let's just use this dog. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It, it worked out. <laughs> yeah. Very cute doll. I'll give yeah. you that. Um, Paul, what is it like? I mean, you seem to find yourself again and again in the um paranormal supernatural realm, like with you know, vampire diaries for years, which was a great show. And you know, the originals. Is is that something like just a, a genre you love? Um you know what I do love it, but it's not like I'm seeking out you know, these genres, it's just for whatever reason, I keep getting cast in them. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. But yeah, no, I'm not like, it's not like I'm telling my my manager, like, only genre, <laughs> you know, um, but but I enjoy it. So yeah, I do like it. It's elevated, but it's still, for me, like the best genre is still grounded in humanity. Right, right. And one of the the really disturbing parts of film, not only of what the characters are going through, but the subject of that old group that I can't name out loud. <laughs> and I'm sure you you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right? No, I don't. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, <laughs> what group? The ones with the white hat. <laughs> oh yeah right yeah. oh, oh. You, yeah, you, yeah. The, the kk the kkk yeah. i'll yeah. say it <laughs> yeah what was it like dealing with those aspects because i'm sure it had to be rough yeah especially in the south um you know i don't know go ahead jackie no I, go I ahead can, yeah i i sorry i didn't mean to like jump in um no no yeah so, you I had to play a uh, like a racist character once in a movie in a TV series, and it was so so uncomfortable to have to do that. Um, luckily, my character throughout the movie is like I mean, when he first sees the hood, he's like, "Fuck this thing," you know. Then as the the movie progresses, um, he's like indoctrinated um, by this old man who just like gets into his head and. Um, it's sad because I don't think that's, that was Ron's innate sort of, that's not who he is, but he just fell into this, he was manipulated into this like cause that is obviously so, you know, backwards. Um, and yeah, it's very uncomfortable. It's always uncomfortable, but, uh, it's an important thing to remember, um, and to acknowledge so that we don't repeat mistakes. Well said. Yeah. And, you know, it's, like I said, it is dark. It's so dark. It's, especially when the the true life or real life combines with that, you know, imaginary world in a film. And when you combine those two things, it, it gets intense. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, and another thing that got me about the film is the ending. I did not see that coming. That's good. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Yeah, yesterday we had a screening and uh, people were like, oh, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, so that's good. I was like, oh, nice. 
I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, I mean, out, out of, between both of you, what were your kind of toughest aspects of your roles? Well, I mentioned it earlier, um, just that that the strong, that aspect of being this powerful, you know, political person that ha- that now, you know, my, my husband is starting to feel like a little weak because even though he was my hero in the beginning, you know, he saved me. I just, uh, that to me was really intense and and hard and and just becoming a mother like realizing you know your baby is the most important thing and protecting her and um regardless of you know I'm trying to protect her in a bigger way um by resisting you know but also just being there for her and um giving her that one-on-one time but for me uh just that monologue that I had to do and 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 kind of you know being more powerful to make him feel a little less was was a little hard for me but I I feel like I might have done it (laughs) you know I don't know um it was really great working like I told you with Paul and and it was just a it was a it was just an experience that was crazy because it's like during COVID it's like it's it's an indie movie um you're working like with with a new director and um, and, and, um, you know, I just met Paul, so it was just a lot very quickly. We had to get there. Yeah. So that to me was a little hard. Yeah. And then for me, uh, there were some logistical things like, uh, as Jackie had mentioned, it was during COVID, I got COVID in the middle of shooting it. So that obviously I wasn't able to be on set for like a week. And, you know, when you have 19 shooting days or whatever it was, I don't remember that week and you're, yes. you know, number one of the leads, right? It's like it's it is it, it, I'm surprised we even finished the movie. Um, Bo was Bo got Bo the director got COVID. He was directing out of his car for half the movie in a in a with using a monitor and a walkie talkie because he couldn't you know away from set. I mean it was like a very trying time, um, but uh, we we you know turned out all right for 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 given all the challenges. Yeah. Wow. Well, um... I'm impressed. No one just, you know, knowing that that much trouble went into it, you still got it completed. So. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's great. That's fantastic. So, what is next for you two? Uh, you go first. Uh, for me, the only thing I'm working on right now is um is Star Trek. I'm doing Star Trek. I play James T. Kirk on Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I'm actually, yeah, it's fun. It's such such an awesome role. It's amazing. Uh, I'm actually in the middle of shooting right now. I just flew down here to New York for a week. But uh, yeah, I got that going, um, which I'm very excited about. I'm not sure when the new season comes out. But uh, yeah, that's my next thing. That's awesome. Uh, I'm working on a lot of things. Um, creating my own tv show that hopefully this year i'll be able to pitch and sell right and then um working on music music is very uh big right now for me so i just released a single i'm releasing a new single uh in a a couple months maybe doing a acoustic set in coachella i don't know i'm doing a few things so yeah i'll let you know paul if you're in la yeah um yeah i'll definitely let you know so uh, yeah, so right now music is very big uh, for me, but uh, auditioning, I'm, you know, trying to t- tell my story through my own vision. So uh, that's not easy. So it's been like a three year, almost four year thing I've been doing. So hopefully this is the year. I feel like it's it's the year I'm, a, you know, a brand new mom. My baby's turned two on on uh, on Saturday. So happy uh, birthday. Yeah, I'll let them know. They're big. <laughs> yeah. I have to send you a picture. You won't even recognize them. I have oh my, my boy is blonde. He has blonde curly oh hair. God. It's insane. Oh I'll send you a picture. That's awesome. It's That's crazy. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so being a mom too has been uh, a, a, one of my best roles yet, you know? So that's what's been going on. Well, is there somewhere that people can hear your music? Um, yeah, there, all platforms. Website? Yeah, Jackie Cruz, just all platforms on Spotify, anything, yeah. And it's just, uh, 
um I was gonna say bisexual, but no, I meant bilingual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also bisexual, but no, bilingual. <laughs> it's a bilingual so uh, <laughs> music, so yeah, <laughs> all kinds of sounds. It's very inspired right now by Mexico, as you can see my background. So, <laughs> great, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Well, when you when you got to the end of filming, what was the the sensation? that you had was it you know I hope this movie is going to be great or I can't believe you know we finally got it finished what what were you experiencing uh well I definitely was hoping it would be great as opposed to sucking um so that's for sure <laughs> um but um yeah I think uh I felt like we had something pretty good and uh you know I think it's just movies and shows and it, it's all so difficult to predict and so much happens in the editing room. You know, you know, you just, I've, you just don't, you just never know. Um, but I think, uh, I think the, the score is really good. I think it's, the performances yeah. are good. Um, there's just so many things when you're an actor, there's so many things you're out of your control and you're just like, well, I hope, hope these people know what they're doing. Cause it just takes, it takes a village, you know? regardless of whether you feel good about your performance, it takes a village to, you know, to make it all work. And, uh, you know, um, I'm just glad that Bo has good taste and hired good people. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I think the last scene we kind of shot was the ending, right, Paul? That was like uh, one of the last yeah, scenes? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, right after that, that's when I was like, <sighs> Like, you know, I could breathe and it felt really good. I mean, Murphy is incredible. And she, like, to get her there was actually kind of easy, which is not really doesn't work like that with kids. But it, I, I asked her mom, how did you get her there? She didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it. And that's what made her feel that. And, and, and then hugging me and, like, we already we had a very strong connection as well. So, like, just that moment of, like, just that last scene for me felt very powerful. And I was like, this is going to be good, <laughs> you know? And and all the, the hard work that we did, all the COVID stuff, all the like, you know, there was a lot of things with, uh, you know, going on at where Paul was staying too, you know, <laughs> the focus, you know? So like, I felt like right there, I felt like, okay, we got something here. Because right, right. well, Paul, think... you know, at the end, that was really intense. I know. Yeah. It was, uh, it was, I did, like I said, I usually, I can see the ending coming a mile away. This time, I didn't. So that's, that's a great thing. Thank that's, you. I like to be surprised. We'll tell Bo. <laughs> yeah. Please do. I, I gotta be honest, that, that, that part where, like, he's dragging me was a little scary yeah. as well. Yeah. Creepy. And like I told you, I gave birth three months before we oh, shot that. Man. I was like, yeah, I'll do this. I'm like jumping up. I missed the thing. And it was just like. That, <laughs> yeah, you I missed just, the landing pad. I missed the landing pad because yeah. I, I went up. And when you pull, you know, it's like yeah. I, my head hit the thing. But I was totally fine. But it was kind of, you know, it was so intense that that, that felt so real to me. You know, him driving me. You were scared too, Paul. You're like, I don't want to kill her. <laughs> I was. I was. I was like, uh, are you guys sure about this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I I enjoyed the film. It was a it was a lot of um putting together like a puzzle. But at the end, it, um, you know, Bo wish he could have shot some more things. But I, like he said, he had good taste and he placed it really well. Yeah, everything came is. together nicely. It really did. It was it was a good film, and it has just so many layers to it that, you know, if you like one genre or you like something else, you're going to find something that you like. Right. So, well, thank you so, so much for watching. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure.